It's about time for this year's Halloween haunting, but it is worth noting that the evening of trick-or-treating two nights away carries its own set of risks. Local 22's Haley Boulay looks at what you should know to keep everyone safe on that spooky night. The horrors of Halloween. No, I'm not talking about ghosts and goblins. I'm talking about the dangers that kids face as they head out the door to collect their treats. Plattsburgh police officer Charles Wolf has been speaking with kids, reminding them that safety on Halloween night should be a top priority. He says his department will be heavily patrolling many of the neighborhoods popular with trick-or-treaters. To ensure that everyone's being safe, um, and that there's no issues um, with anyone bothering the kids or that vehicles aren't excessively speeding. And once you're home, make sure you check through all of your goodies before digging in. Look for wrappers that look like they've been opened and resealed. Um, anytime you get fruit or anything um, to inspect the fruit, um, there have been instances in the past where people have put razor blades um, in fruit as well as candy. For dentists, the horror that comes along with Halloween is the cavities that kids develop after eating all of their candy. A little bit of candy here and there is not a problem, but when you get bags and bags of it and eat all of it, it can really do a number on your teeth. But Champlain Smiles has a solution. They'll buy back all of your Halloween candy for a dollar a pound. They should be brushing their teeth and eating healthy snacks, but Halloween's really important. Kids love candy, they love going out and getting it, but this way we can do a few different things with it. They send the candy to troops deployed overseas through the Adopt a Soldier program, while also matching every dollar and donating the money to the Interfaith Food Shelf. They need a little taste of home when they're overseas, and sometimes getting a little Halloween candy in a nice box might be a, a nice just reminder of what, you know, chocolate tastes like. In Plattsburgh, Haley Boulay, Local 22 News. Well, the Clinton County Sheriff's Office is also performing Halloween safety sweeps that night, checking on the addresses of registered sex offenders. We'll also let you know when you can bring your candy into Champlain Smiles over on our website, mychamplainvalley.com.